Alright, hey guys, so by popular request, I suppose, uh, here comes the next video in the mini-series that I'm doing. Uh, kind of like how to trade, or like trading lessons. So, we've already gone over my introduction, you know, my broker, my hotkeys, my layout, how I choose stocks, um, how I find the stocks with my scanner. Um, so now I gotta talk about candlesticks and my actual strategy. So what is a candlestick so each one of these sticks is called a candlestick uh they can have different time frames you know some people use the, the three minute candles the 15 the 30 minute candles you know down here i have the daily candles so they all give you different information and they're within the time frame that you specify so one of these candles since this is a daily candle will have the information um all within one day. Hold on, I'm trying to get rid of this here. So, what I mean by that, so if you look here at, uh, let me just get rid of this one little line, it's bugging me. Okay, so we take this candle, for example, right here, right in the middle of the screen. Let's blow that up. This green candle right here. So this is the one minute candles, right? So this tells you what happens in one minute. So since it's a green candle, we know that it opens that minute, that first transaction that goes through in that minute is at the bottom of the candle. And then at the end of that minute, the last transaction that went through is at the top of the body of that candle. So within that minute, we don't know exactly what happened. You know, you can figure that out by going down to the five second candles and you can have 20 candles or whatever, not 20, uh, five times 12, so 12 candles of five seconds within that one minute um, to see what really went on. So these little wicks at the bottom and the top show the extremes of what happened within that minute, but the body is where it started and ended that minute. So to use what I just said as an example, um, you can see what happens in a one minute. So let's let's take today for example. Take today at the beginning of the day. We see over here on the five minute chart that at 9.35, the stock, you know, went from 6.99, let's draw a line here. 6.99 at the bottom of this candle, and at the end of that minute, or five minutes, sorry, it closed at $8. So that means here, we can see it on the one minute charts, so if I go, so the start of that candle is 9.35 and it's a five minute candle. So 9.35 here at the bottom. Yeah, let me change this song here, okay. 9.35 at the bottom here you can see. So yep, it starts because it's a red candle. So it starts at the top of the body instead of the bottom. I think a lot of people already know this. But anyways, so started at 6.99. So this is where the first five minutes started. So this is the five minutes uh, right here. And then within the five minutes, we can see what happened. And it closed at the end of the five minutes right here. But before that, in the fourth minute, you see, we see it surged up here all the way up to 870, which is why on this candle right here, let's get rid of all of this actually. Um, you can see the top of this candle over here is 870. So anyways, very quick intro to candlesticks. I don't want to talk too much about candlesticks, I want to talk about my strategy. So, after we found a stock that's moving, we found, you know, the right stock, we, we need an entry point. So a really, really good entry point is waiting. So you don't want to chase stocks. You don't want to just jump in randomly. They don't allow you to uh, uh, have the proper risk management. So, what do I mean by that? So, for today, for example, we see the stock surging up from $7 all the way up to almost $9, 875 or 870. So we don't like where do you get in, right? So a great spot to get in, especially as a beginner trader, um, if you're new to this, is you wait for a pullback. So what I usually do is the first one minute candle to make a new high. So this doesn't give the greatest example of that because the first candle to make a new high would be right here because this candle has a high of 839 
And if you got in at 839 or 840 on this candle, it would have been slammed back down. So most people also have a stop at the bottom of the last candle. So most people would have a stop if they got in here at 839 of eight or 764. So that's that's really far away. So that's why I'm saying this isn't the greatest example. But there was another thing at play here. So there's these moving averages as it got closer to this moving average here, as it grinded sideways and kind of closed this this ascending kind of triangle pattern. Then the first one minute candle to make a new high above these highs, above 850 here. And 850 is another common point of resistance. Like the half and the whole dollars are big psychological lines. So once it broke through that, then once people saw, okay, maybe they use this, um, sorry, this candle here as their stop. So if they put their stop here at the bottom of that candle, then if they manage to get in at 848 or 850 with an 811 stop, that's 40 cents. So they would be looking for at least a 40 cent or you know 50, 60, 70, 80 cent move. So this candle squeezed all the way up to 950. So a full dollar with 40 cents of risk. So that is how you determine a pretty good entry, uh, both on the one minute charts for the first you know 15 minutes of the day, and then the five minute charts after that. I can give you a really good example of um, the five minute chart working out. So let me look at my profits here. Uh, CNET. CNET. So let's look yesterday. So yesterday, this thing started surging out of nowhere. This is the five minute chart, remember? So the market opens here at 9.30. It doesn't do much. 10 o'clock, 10.15, 10.30. And out of 10.30, you can see the volume down here. Um, it just starts increasing and people are buying this like crazy for some reason. So again, where do you get in? Because if you see this, you know, how do you know where to get in? So, you know, again, you wait for a pullback. So this pullback is consolidated in this range from 203 to 215. Uh, again, this is five minutes. So within five minutes on each one minute candle, look, it was going up and down and just staying in that range, right? So then the first five minute candle to make a new high over this candle was this one right here. So if you had a stop at the low of that candle of 203 and your entry was 216, so that's 13 cents or 14 if you get in at 217 of risk. So you're looking for like, you know, 15 plus cents of a move. And you know, this went all the way up another 50, 60 cents, depending on where you got out, depending on where you took profit. Uh, I don't know, but that is how you find a really good spot to get into uh, just normally moving stocks. So stock halts are a different other thing. So when a stock moves too quickly in a short amount of time, it gets halted for at least five minutes. Uh, sometimes 10, sometimes a little bit longer, but it's usually five minutes. So how do you play those? Um, it's fairly straightforward. Let's go to an example today. LEDS, out of nowhere. Horizontal, okay. So out of nowhere, you know, it surged up uh, right before the bell at, at the open. And then... Here, let's move this over so you can see the volume. There we go. Um, then it had this nice little flag right here, consolidation in this, this area. And then once it broke through, and kind of the first one minute candle to make a new high. Kind, kind of, it was more on the five minute setup, I believe, that it looked a lot cleaner. Uh, right. So, yeah, uh, no, okay, no, the five minute, it didn't really look clean on the five minute. So it surged right into a halt. So the way most people play halts is they wait for it to surge up. Was this today or was this yesterday? Yes. Okay. This was this was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. No. This. Okay. Today. Sorry. It's okay. So when it gets unhalted, if it unhalts higher, it typically dips. So you can see this little dip, and then after the dip happens. There's usually a really, really big surge. So this went from 797 
all the way up to six or sorry eight sixty six most likely within five or ten seconds that's typically what happens and then yes it comes back down but there's that window of opportunity usually in these types of stocks where it unhalts if it unhalts higher it'll dip and then it'll it'll squeeze so there's an opportunity in there to make 20 30 40 50 cents so if you're using a thousand shares that's 500 bucks 400 bucks 300 bucks however many shares you want to use that is typically how i play these and if it unhalts lower it usually does the same thing it'll it'll come down and squeeze up through where it halted unless it unhalts much lower then it usually acts as a form or a spot of resistance so it'll come back up to where it halted and then come back down but usually they reopen higher so that's just a very very brief intro well not too brief that is pretty much my strategy um i do a lot of scalping also so i'll use much much shorter time frames so if a stock in the first 10 seconds makes a high, I'll try and scalp the highs after that. And, and if it surges up here, like within this one minute candle, if it made it to uh, from $6 to $6.20, it comes back down. As it goes from $6.20 to $6.40, you know, I'll, I'll try and scalp that move. And then if it comes back down, I'll scalp it back up $6.40 to $6.60 but you can't see that within this candle. So those are a couple of my strategies I use. I'm gonna try and keep these brief. I don't wanna get anyone too confused, but I wanna give a little insight into how I trade. You can see uh, in my videos too, if you watch my videos, I explain exactly why I get in and where I get in. You can really see how I do it uh, by watching some of the other videos because I use the live videos from when I trade that morning. So you get to see live trading too. So. These strategies, which I'm I'm not even that good at yet, to be honest, uh, so far have made me almost $2,000 on the month, which is really good uh, for me, at least, as a beginner trader. Uh, so I'm just getting better at the strategy. I'm only using 600 shares, and I'm slowly going to be using more and more shares the better I get at it. But uh, I'm just going for consistency and discipline right now. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. Um, thanks for watching.